for this pool here, it has the Hayward. Now, what I use for my hose, it's an old piece of uh, like a creepy hose from a creepy crawly. And you can buy a section of this at the store. They come in little sections. So I just use this, but it's great for the Hayward pumps because I don't have to tape anything. Take your plugs out. Don't forget, take your plugs out. You sh any pump you have should have two of them. The Hayward has one in the front and then one over to the side. Um, different pumps will have two on one side. One will be in here and one will be back here. There's like two chambers in any of the pumps. So you have the where the basket part is and then where the impeller is. So you want to drain both of them. Take both plugs out, clean your basket out. So you're gonna drain that. Then we're gonna keep everything together. So we're gonna put everything in the in the basket, and then we're gonna put the basket back in here. We'll put the lid back on so we're not losing anything. So I can push that and just fits right in the fitting on this inch and a half fitting it slips right inside there so it's not going to come out now i have it all set up now this here if you want to look for it it's um it's a mighty vac it's meant for closing pools so i've had this for probably about 18 years or so so you can maybe find them uh, if you have a shop vac it has to be pretty powerful like the cyclone power of this is 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 amazing now, if we had, if we had a main drain that came to the front of the pump, now your stuff might be, one might go to the skimmer, it might branch off, it might go to the main drain. Now, if you try to use um, a shop vac for a main drain from here, and you blow it out to there, and if you don't see all the bubbles just like, like a volcano, then it's not powerful enough. So you're gonna have to get a blower, uh, maybe a leaf blower set something up, leaf blower, maybe a gas powered one. If you can blow those bubbles right up from the deep end, now that's, you have enough power. So here we have it all set up. We're gonna be turning it on and I'll show you what it looks like with the, the Ultra Gizmo. And what I do is I'll just let it run and run and run. So you see all the mist coming out? So go around and do everything else you have to do around your pool, clean up, move stuff, whatever, get ready for the cover. Um, so we want all that mist to go away. Once in a while you'll get blip, blip, blip. But just, you wanna keep on blowing it out, blowing it out as much as you can, do other stuff. Anything that comes in the front, that's your suction. So it could be a bottom main drain, could be a side drain, could be the skimmer. Okay, so we blow that, and we've blown all that out because I only have the skimmer. If you have other things like a side drain, you might have three cutoffs here. You might have a, a ball valve here, splits off, and then splits off here. So you just got to deal with each one. Just shut off, do the next one, do the next one. Um, um, here it comes out. This is really basic pool equipment here. So discharge, okay. Now, this one here, the way I like to do it for f in the future too. If you watch a bunch of my other videos, I do not like clamps like this. I don't like bar fittings. I do not like clamps. That's just a failing point. I just, I just don't like them at all. So when I run into this, uh, I've never closed this pool before. So uh, for next year, instead of changing this out, what I do is I'll just cut it here. And then next year I'll put a uh, union in here. That way I can just disconnect here for next year, move it out of the way, and I can just blow the lines out. But for today, I'm gonna cut it right about here because it's more of a straight, and this is an old, it's an old pipe. So I don't want it on an angle here. I mean, you could, but just easier going about here. Even if you do a sand change, at least you just have to disconnect it here, and it's not bulky. Like here, they don't have a union. 
and if they ever do a sand change you know i'd cut it right about here and put a union in here so you can just disconnect it and move all this out of the way same as with this backwash it goes into the ground i'd put a union right about here but if you have a hayward filter like this see this backwash here doesn't have a, a shut off a ball valve uh hayward heads like this the dial filters always fail always if you think you're losing water first thing you if you have one of these filters and you think you're losing water in your pool first place you're going to look backwash now if you have it laid out like this this goes out buried and then it goes into the bush over there so you would have to walk over there i've already checked it um because they, they always leak um the person wasn't losing water but i checked at the start of the season but uh just when it's running go and go over there and take a look see if you see anything if it's ever leaking out here while it's running on filter put put a ball valve in here you can just shut it off so you just turn it on every time you go to backwash or waste or whatever okay so for this here what we're going to do is we're going to cut this the filter we're going to change it to recirculate now if you have a different filter you might have uh whirlpool so it's going to be recirculate or whirlpool what that does is it doesn't go through the sand because I don't want it blowing air through the sand. It just goes through the style, just bypasses, it just goes right out here and then out through the heater and I can blow it all out. Here, we're just gonna take off drain plug and I'll show you how to deal with this in a second. But right now we're gonna change this to recirculate. Cut it, I'm just gonna get ready to, this is why I like this thing. It'll fit right there and I'm gonna duct tape it. That's done. We're on recirculate. It's going to go straight through. It's going to go through this and out and then through the heater. Before I turn this on, it depends on, again, it depends on your pool. Now, this is a Raypack heater. It depends on how old it is. There's, there's 5 million heaters out there. So, but all heaters have some drain plugs. Okay. So, for the Raypacks, they're going to be here. It's going to be a plug. It's underneath there. There's one. I would suggest not to move this one. The reasoning for that is, is that the plug in there, it's really hard to take off. And I can almost guarantee you, when you try to take it off or put it in, you're gonna drop it down there. And then you have to take this whole side off, okay? Well, I'll show you how to deal with that to get the water out. There should be one on the other side. Most of the manifolds will have one or two on the bottom. Now for the ray pack, it just has this one right here. So we're gonna take that one off, but not right now. We're gonna blow out the returns. Before you start, make sure that power's off. Turn power off to this. Okay, I've seen so many times where you blow the lines, you don't deal with this, you gotta turn the gas off, here's the gas. I'm gonna turn that off, just in case the pilot's going and it can burn itself off. Make sure that the power's off, this is off, and if you have to, turn the power off where you have to lick the panel. Now, I've seen it where you start blowing this, blowing the lines out through the heater, the heater turns on, no water, but it's, it's because there's a pressure switch in there that thinks there's water going through there, you just created a pressure. It doesn't know it's air. And then the heater turns on, and, <laughs> and it's not good. So make sure the heater's off when you blow the lines for the, on the return side. Okay, so we're going to turn that on and I'll show you the jet side. You see it all coming out. This is the first, this is the first jet here. The other one's not even coming out yet. So all the water is getting pushed out. When we see bubbles like that, that means it's just air. So we got that one going. Just gotta wait for that one there. It's just starting to go now. So it's gradually getting pushed out. So what we want is the same on both sides for a bit. So we want it like that, the same as both sides. If you have two or three other jet, you might have to cover it with your hand. 
more pressure on another jet over here, but you want all of them to come out the same. See, both my jets are about equal. I let it run for maybe about five minutes or so, just for the two jets. Turn it off, we're gonna take this plug off. Wait till all the water's out on that return side and deal with this. We'll see how much water's in here. Because we're not taking out the other side. It's uh, gonna blow it a little bit longer. So that was a really good sign that even though there was like no spray whatsoever, not even a little bit of mist. So that's good. It's really pushed out of there. So you take any plugs you have from the heater, put them in there for the filter. Because we're done with this, we're gonna turn it to close. I just put it in between anywhere. Take the pressure gauge off and you're gonna take the sight glass off too. After you do that, drain plug. Very important. Too many people crack these in the winter time. I'm in the friggin' jungle here. So we're gonna undo this. Get all that water out. Again, plug in there. Sight glass. Watch this. Uh, remember, you have this. Too many people lose these too. So you put that in there. That in there so we're done on this side so we can turn this to close i just go in between we're going to take this off in a second um then the lid any pool you have do it this way so next year you're not losing a little minor little pieces because so if you start putting stuff together next year and then you go hey i got some extra part here and you can't figure out where it goes. And you start it and then wherever it's squirting out. I've done it on heaters so many times where I get an extra part. And I'm like, where did, where did, I can't even know where that comes from. And then you start it up and then it comes in and go, oh, there you go. Shut it off, put it on. So all the parts in there. So you're not guessing on where things go. And so whatever you put in here, you know everything's going to be going back. So for this pool here, I have a chlorinator for, for the pucks and stuff. I don't like these at all, but we got to deal with it. So instead, because they're plastic pieces and taking it on and off, on and off, if you can, it's, a lot of people will take these all the way off, like on, off, on, off all the time. I don't like really take them on and off all the time because you're going to break something. Okay, if you kind of leave it, that's fine. You've already blown the lines out. We know there's going to be water in here, okay? So if you, when you're blowing the line out, sometimes there's a plug on the bottom here. I'm not sure if this one has it or not, but um, sometimes you can't flip these upside down like I'm going to do. We know that there's probably a little bit of air in here or a little bit of water in here and a little bit of water in here. What I do is I'll open this up. Okay, I took the lid off. Now, if you have a hard time taking these on and off, I think I have a, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, you take apart this and then grease everything all up. I think I have a video on that, how to grease this all up. You take this off, there's a there's a plastic nut in there, take it all apart, grease it all up. So it's way easier taking this on and off all the time. Okay, so what I do is, for this one, see there's water in it? So we blew the lines out. So I know that there's a little bit of water in here. It probably just went in. Take that water there. Let's flip it upside down. So we know there's probably no water down here. So get as many as much water as out as possible. This is weighted. So no critters can go in there. And if there's any water in here, it'll slide down there. We got most out anyway because we blew the line. So you just don't want the the pipe solid. Like doesn't matter if it's this one here or any pipe. You don't want it solid, solid, solid. Now it, underground, if there's a little bit of there's like maybe the pipes like this, and there's water in it, 
it could be full. It's not going to crack anything because it's just going to creep along the rest of it. So on equipment side, I think we're done for this. And this is so basic. If you have any questions, just put them down below and I'll uh, answer them. But this applies to any pool you have, any equipment. You might have nether pumps, you might have other jets, waterfalls, whatever you have. The biggest thing is you need to blow the water all out. Blow the water out. Blow everything, all the water out. Like look over, double check everywhere. Like the filters, you know, drain plugs, plugs on the pump. Just get all the water out. If you have to shop back it out, like a cartridge filter, shop it out if you can't get to the bottom plug. Because sometimes you can't get to the bottom plug. I have a couple customers that the plugs on the back side can't get to here, can't move anything out of the way. So I get a shot back it all out. So do what you can, get all the water out if you're in an area where you don't want anything to freeze, if you're shutting down for the winter time. If you're in Florida or California, don't worry about it.